Yeah. What's up, everybody? It's Jamal Gardner here, and I just got done with the gym. So I just recorded some video, some footage from me doing some exercises in my skinner's barefoot socks, and I want to get a better review for my um for my gym gym goers out there. So today I did some deadlifting, bench pressing, squatting, and some handstands. I believe I only recorded some footage of me deadlifting and squatting, but as you can see, that they hold up very well. So I've heard that people who want to deadlift should, should deadlift in uh, Converse, right? Because Converse is have a flat sole. And I think that skinners would be a better fit for this type of, um, a better equipment for this type of exercise because you, this is as flat as it gets, you're on your bare feet. And I haven't noticed any type of improvements per se with my, with my uh, deadlifting or squatting, but I find that it's more, it's more comfortable for me to squat or deadlift in these sock shoes because of how my foot is uh, is uh, in place in relation to the ground. So before in my old shoes, I, I had like Nikes. My Nikes had like a real thick sole and the heel will, will, will be super high. So my feet were always kind of like arched to that angle whenever I'm squatting or deadlifting. But I find that when I'm squatting with my Skinner sock shoes, I'm able to put more weight into my heels as I'm squatting. And that's a good thing because before I would put most of my weight into my toes while squatting, and now I can do it properly much easier with, with less effort or much less brain power. So, they hold up very well. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but it's raining right now. And I walked outside the gym and I took a couple of steps and I felt the rain go through the top of my shoes. So, I just got confirmation that my sock shoes are not waterproof all around. The bottom is, but the top isn't, which is not that, which is not a big thing to me. I don't mind that part at all, to be honest with you. But I can see why, I'm not sure if that might cause some mold or anything, but who knows. I'll find out eventually. But um, it passes the gym test, definitely. The only thing about it is that people will give you weird looks when you're walking through the gym. People people would think, people think I'm wearing socks, and that's fine. I don't mind that too much, because I walk, I wear these to the, to the grocery store, to the gas station, to anywhere I go, I wear these sock shoes. And you get used to it after a while, but um, other than that, the hold up for the test, um, it's much better for, uh, for, for gym the regular shoes in my opinion because shoes can, can weigh a lot of can, can weigh a lot especially the type of shoes that you wear so before i had some nike running shoes and you would think that, that they would be light but they're kind of old they're, uh, they're hand-me-downs so they're really heavy on my feet sometimes so i'm doing handstands or l sits or any type, of, any type of body weight exercises that require some type of lever i can really feel the extra weight in my feet compared to when i'm barefooted or i'm wearing socks so that's a great thing about that too but so um, I recommend anybody, any gym goer who wants to have some type of barefoot minimalist shoe to go to the gym, who wants to have some type of a, a, a closer connection to the earth while they're doing their exercises. Because I know that there's other brands out there like Vibram's Five Finger Shoes and other shoes that might be good for deadlift, deadlift, deadlifts and squats, but I do recommend anybody who are looking into skinners to purchase these shoes. I, I'm sure that you will get your money's worth out of it. But um, this is Jamal Garner and thanks for watching. Sorry for the lighting, it's dark out here.